Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be recreating Iman Gaji's small clip animation using a light motion. But before we start, let's take a look at the preview. Dollars a month as a student is the right vehicle. And let me tell you what I mean. Dollars a month as a student is the right vehicle. And let me tell you what I mean. Okay, friends, let's do this. Here, I have created a background from Iman's video. First we will add a rectangular shape. Now change this shape color into white. Now we will turn this shape into a small line. Tap on edit shape and adjust shape size as I shown in the video. Keep this line here. I forget to extend these layers timeline duration. Let's extend first. Now select line layer and go to effects and apply repeat effect to this layer. You can find this effect in repeat section. Scroll up and adjust offset value as shown. Let's adjust line size little bit. Now here, increase count value. I am keeping 15. Actually, you have to play with these values. Let me adjust offset value little bit. Now adjust these lines position. Let's add a rectangular shape. Adjust shape size as shown. Now change shape color into black. Drag it under the line layer. Now adjust this shape position as shown. Now apply Gaussian blur effect to this layer. You can find this effect in blur section. Adjust blur strength as shown. Let's adjust shape size little bit. Let's keep it here. Now go to blendings and opacity. Decrease opacity value to 80%. Before doing anything, first increase this layer duration. Now we will create fade in animation to these two layers. Select line layer and go to blendings and opacity. At frame number 15, add a opacity keyframe, also add another one at the first frame. Now here, decrease opacity to 0%. Now smooth keyframe curves, you can try different curves to your animation. Now create fade in animation to this layer also. Let's start this layer from here. Now we have this. Perfect. We will start cars animation from here. Let's add cars images first. I have downloaded this image from pixabay.com. Let's adjust this image size. Keep it here. Let's extend this layer duration first. Now, at this frame, add a position keyframe to this layer. Now we will add one more at 4th second frame. Here, keep this car position here. At this point in the animation, please drag the car out of the canvas. Now smooth keyframe curves. Let's add a second car to the timeline. Please resize this image before proceeding. Let's increase the duration of this layer. Place it here now. Please remember to add a keyframe for the position. Now here, change car position is shown. Now smooth keyframe curves. Apply motion blur effect to this layer. I forget to change car position here, let me adjust here first. I think, the line's position should be placed here. I need to rearrange the position of these layers before we proceed. Now it's perfect for me. I 
I am going to add my text at this frame. Change text color into white. Select any favorite font for your text. Now adjust the size of text. Let's keep it here. Iman Gaji always keeps his texts in gradient colors. Let's create a gradient color effect for our text also. Let me choose a best font for my text first. Now drag this layer under the car's layer. Now duplicate this text, and edit this text. Adjust text position also. Now add one more text with bold font. I have added one more text and also adjusted the size and position of all the texts. Now select first text layer, and add a position keyframe. Move 20 frames forward, and add another one. Now at the first keyframe, change position is shown. Don't forget to smooth keyframe curves. I think, we will keep this keyframe here. Maybe here. Let's create the same animation for the remaining text layers. We are going to create a fade in animation for all the text layers. Now apply blur effect to this text. Add a keyframe here. Add one more here. At this keyframe decrease blur strength to 0%. Now smooth keyframe curves. Please apply the same effect to the remaining text layers by copying and pasting it. Now start this layer from here. This one from here. Now increase this layer's duration, and trim it here. Now select this three layers and group them. Now add a rectangular shape for masking. Adjust the shape as shown. Drag it here. Keep this shape here. Now apply Gaussian blur to this shape. Adjust blur strength. Let me adjust the size and position of this shape little bit more. Let's extend this layer duration. Now select these two layers and tap on exclusion icon for masking. Please allow me to make some further adjustments to the text size and position. You're all done, guys. Thanks for watching, friends. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and comment below about whose editing you want to recreate.